So ferritin becomes much more helpful here. It's more stable over time, but it also represents a much higher proportion of your body's total iron, about a third. But also, of all the blood tests, it has the most evidence that it correlates to the amount of usable iron in your bone marrow. Okay, so great, let's just use ferritin, episode over. Unfortunately, there is a catch. There's a lot of disagreement on exactly what ferritin value we should use as the cutoff to diagnose iron deficiency. The higher a value you use, the more sensitive it'll be, and the more people you diagnose, the lower values can be more specific. And you can see here that different professional societies don't even agree on what cutoff to use. The WHO initially recommended a ferritin cutoff of 15 to diagnose iron deficiency, but the British Society of Gastroenterology thought that that might not be sensitive enough and might be missing some people. So they chose to go with the ferritin cutoff of 45. Things get more complicated when we talk about patients with chronic inflammation. We know that inflammation makes your ferritin level go up. So we would think even in iron deficiency, these patients might have a higher ferritin level. But what ferritin cutoff do we use to diagnose iron deficiency in these patients with chronic inflammation? Well, I'll tell you, we have a lot less evidence to guide us on exactly what cutoffs to use to diagnose iron deficiency in these patients. The cutoffs that we do have are mostly expert consensus, and they really were only meant for patients with a history of heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, chronic kidney disease, or inflammatory bowel disease. But because we don't have better data for other patients with chronic inflammation, these cutoffs sort of get broadly applied to them. So for these patients, the American Journal of Hematology did recommend using a ferritin cutoff of 100 to diagnose iron deficiency in patients with chronic inflammation. However, if a patient's T-sat is less than 20%, iron deficiency may be present even in ferritin as high as 300. 